So the car, the engine has a lot of oil leaks, and I was just kind of looking around at it, and uh, noticed after I power washed it, I could see there was some fresh oil just from moving it up the driveway. And it's coming out of this sensor here. This is a cam position sensor, and you can already see there's a stain of oil all around it there. And underneath, you can see uh, fresh oil coming out of it. So I'm going to pull this uh, sensor out and see what kind of gasket it is and, and replace it. I suspect that it's a uh, O-ring, but I'm not sure. It's kind of an interesting connector. Uh, it's got this green, it's, I like this connector, it's pretty cool. You push in on this green part here, I can see there's springs in there, but you push down on it and it, lo and it locks. You can see it click and lock down, and when it's locked down, you can remove it. And I can see there's a there is oil all inside of that, so that sensor may be um, may be bad. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove it. it. Takes a 10 millimeter socket on it, which is kind of nice. Most everything on these Japanese cars, 10 millimeters. horn there is kind of crowding me. I might have to remove that. I don't know how long that sensor is. I'm suspecting it's maybe an inch long. We'll see. It comes out of there. There it is. There's the sensor. And it's got uh, O-rings. Looks like maybe two of them. So I just one. I'm going to go ahead and see if I have an O-ring like that in my collection. And I'm going to also clean out the oil and put it back in there. And then uh, if I notice it leaking again, then I'll know that I need to replace it. But for now, I'm just going to try to replace the seal. And I'm not sure where that, if that even is oil. Yeah, it looks like it's oil inside the, uh, the connector. So I've got the uh, camshaft position sensor here on the bench. And uh, what this sensor does is it uh, sends a signal to the computer of the car that synchronizes the ignition timing and the fuel injection with the actual position of the of the engine what you know what the state the uh, the valves and the pistons are in and I can see this uh, this o-ring here is, is uh, totally hard as a rock uh, I might actually even have to cut it to get it out of there it has it has lost its uh, pliability So I use a dental pick here to reach and get underneath the O-ring. I'm under it now, so maybe I can work it out of there. I'm going to try to stretch it out just a little bit and maybe work it outside of the groove. I think I got it now. So there's the O-ring. And what I'd like to do is measure it with the calipers here. So that's a 2.66 by 2. And the OD is 23. See if I can find something like that in my collection here. Got a, several different packages of these the rings. I might just get lucky. Let's see, I don't believe there's anything in this little kit that's as large as that. I'll move on to the next one. These are a little larger, but still not quite. That one looks a little large. I 
That one's 24. It's one millimeter too large, I think. It's going into a 20, 21.6. So this one's too large. Uh, too small. Got another package here. Sometimes, you know, you just have to go buy one. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just don't have everything you need. Let's see what that one looks like. It's about a 22. That's... I might go with that one. I might try that. No harm done. If it, I'll just be, I'll put this O-ring in there and check it after running the engine and if I still see leaks and you know I know I need to do something else about that o-ring so I'm going to install this one on there Yeah, that looks about right. It's a little proud of the uh, the stem here, and that's that should be good as long as I can get it to to go in the hole. I think we're set. So I'm going to go install this. I'm going to keep this O-ring just in case I need it uh, for a reference or something. Uh, this this kit here came from Harbor Freight. It's pretty old. I've had it be embarrassed to say how long I've had it but uh comes in handy more often than not I guess all right I'm gonna go install this uh, cam position sensor and hopefully that's one less leak the car has now okay so I have the uh, o-ring installed on this cam shaft position sensor and hopefully that's going to take care of one of the leaks and uh, we'll see I can easily monitor it after I start the engine a while, moving it around. I'm not going to start it just for that, but I'll take a peek under the hood after I've run it and see if I'm still getting a leak under there. And if it does, I'll have to buy an O-ring. <laughs> Let's go install it. Alright, we're back out here at the car. I've got the O-ring installed here on the sensor. I'm going to use a little a light coating of grease here on the O-ring just to help it go into the uh, hole in case in case it's too big this might just make the difference yeah it does go in it feels good it um, feels like it's actually you know gonna work <laughs> so the, let's see the problem is there it goes can't really see where the threads are. There we go, got it. So I'll tighten that sensor up. And I want to show you this connector when it goes in. It's pretty cool. Let me zoom in on it so you can see what happens. Okay, so we're Zoomed in kind of tight on that connector area there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this bolt. That should do it. The, the bolt is really not, um, if you tighten it really, over tighten it, it can crack. It's not, the O-ring is what's affecting the seal, not that bolt. Or the tension of the bolt so anyway here we go watch this connector now pay attention to this green part of the connector I'll see if I can keep my finger out of the way but watch what happens when I push it in if I'm able to push it hard enough here we go there we go did you hear that and see it, it it's pretty cool it a uh, pretty positive connection that when you hear that and see it you know she's locked in there and Good to go. So there you go. That's one oil leak, hopefully. I'm going to totally clean the bottom of that. And so the next time I check, it should still be the same way.
Again, this is a 99 Nissan Maxima with a 3 liter. And quite a few oil leaks, but we're taking care of it.